Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video and today, today I want to talk to you guys a little more about Tail Riders. As part of Game Informer's month-long Monster Hunter World coverage, they're bringing us new features and information on different aspects of the game. And the most recent article talks about Tail Riders, also known as Grimalkine or Wildcats. Now if you've seen all of my Monster Hunter World videos, then you'll know I already briefly covered this topic a little while after Gamescom and I explained how our cats are able to learn certain abilities from these Wildcats and one such ability allows them to temporarily befriend local monsters, small monsters that is, and ride them into battle. If you haven't seen that video then I've linked it down below so you guys can get caught up. However, following the information from Game Informer, we actually got a slightly better look at the overall process for this, the way the quest and interactions between our Palico and these Grimalkine work, and if I pair that with some of the footage I was able to record while in Japan, then we're actually able to create a slightly clearer picture as to how these quests present themselves. Pair that with some recent footage of the Rotten Veil vale shown off on the Capcom TV livestream, and we also get a look at another Palico monster team up, and this one is quite possibly the best one yet. So. Let's go over the most important points. If you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. And be sure to comment down below and let me know if you guys have any questions. Also, while today's video is going to be a short one, I will have another monster hunt going up tomorrow for you guys to enjoy. And this time it is against the Juratados. Anyway, onto the topic of the Grimalkine. As a very quick recap, and I'm going to keep this brief because I want to avoid repeating myself, but located around the map are these little wild cats, and they can be seen or tracked via your map. Finding them and speaking to them will either present an opportunity for them to join your team for a bit, acting as a second palico, or in select situations they will instead teach your palico a useful skill. However, you won't simply walk around the map, stumble across them and be like, hey, teach me something. There will be quests associated with these. We don't have exact details for the time being, so there are obviously a few gaps that will need to be filled, and it's also not clear whether these are quests will pick up at town or quests will obtain while in the field. If I had to hazard a guess, I would say it's the latter, since you can now encounter NPCs while you're out and about on quests, and some of them can give you additional side quests there and then. One such example was this person that I met in the ancient forest, who then sent me off to go and catch bugs with my net, or this guy here who had me go fishing for a particular fish. These are just examples, but if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say this is where the Grimalkines will fit in. Furthermore, I mentioned that you can track them on the map, but to be clear, this footage was from my time playing at Gamescom, a time where the map was already unlocked. The more accurate depiction would be my time playing in Japan. See, much like monsters that need to be tracked before you find them, so too do these little wild cats. Located around the world, you will sometimes find these little doodles. They take the same form as monster footprints or mucus that appear on the walls. They glow in green, your scout flies all gravitate towards them. The only difference is that these ones are visually more distinctive and they look like little drawings. They're referred to as doodles. If you interact with these, you begin leveling up the scout fly corresponding to the doodles, which will then lead you to more of them and eventually lead you to where these wildcats are located, which is what you can see in this segment here. What we then got to see from the Game Informer coverage, which by the way I've linked down below if you guys want to check out the full video, but what we saw from that were the actual interactions between our Palicos and the Grimalkine. You'll see they have actual conversations, and following this they may join you for a hunt, and then upon completing that your Palico will report back with what it's learned. The skill that links into their ability to temporarily tame or befriend a small monster is when they learn the language of the local monsters. If they know this, they can then speak to them and they will join you. Different maps and monsters require different languages, so this is something you'll accumulate as you go. However, in addition to that, these Palico items or skills here, the things like the Vigor Wasp or the Flashfly Cage, etc., these are also linked to the Grimalkine. So if you want to unlock a new ability for your Palico, you're going to want to be pursuing these quests. Now finally, the last thing I want to point out very quickly actually came from a recent Capcom TV livestream where they showed off the Rotten Veil vale again. I've linked the original gameplay down below if you want to check it out. It's about 18 minutes of, you know, good gameplay showing you guys different stuff. It's Tokoda Sam playing, so he's a good player and gives you a good look at the map. But the part I want to talk about is this bit here, where they're fighting down in the pit. They're fighting against Ordogaron, the big, aggressive, red-looking beast monster. But in the area, there are also the Jiros, the smaller version of the Great Jiros. Being a small monster, these are also potential allies for your Palico, provided of course it knows the local language. And if it does team up with these, this is quite possibly one of the most potent combinations. Why? Because the Jiros have a paralyzing coating to their fangs. And in this small gameplay segment alone, Ordogaron gets paralyzed multiple times, and if your Palico is riding it, it basically just dive bombs the monster doing paralysis fang bites. So were you also running a weapon with paralysis on it, then this could be a pretty fun team up. But that, my friends, is pretty much it. Again, a short video for today, but tune back in tomorrow if you guys want to see the hunt against Jodatados. 
In the meantime, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.